What is up guys, DSTK here. Apple releases iOS 16.0.3 and it's been more than 36 hours since I'm testing on my iPhone. So it's now time to jump on its performance, new features, bug fixes, security update, benchmark score, main about battery life and finally should you update or not. So without further ado, let's get started. Timestamps are already down in the description because I value your time and you can skip in between to watch this specific part of this video. All iOS 16 compatible devices will get this update. The size of this update may vary from 900 MB to 1.20 GB depending upon which iPhone you have. This time we do have a modem update so connectivity related problem with Wi-Fi, 4G, 5G network will moreover gonna fix. Apple soon will give a carrier update in upcoming major software update to compile with the bandwidth of 5G network in India. As iOS 16.0.3 is a normal update and contains several important security update and bug fixes. We will talk about it in a moment. This update doesn't have any new feature but have some negligible changes in the UI. But more likely everything is pretty much the same as previous iOS 16.0.2. Performance on older iPhone isn't great because sometimes apps take several seconds to load so indirectly Apple slow down the older devices but I think it must be fixed in upcoming iOS 16.1. As far as the bug fixes, iOS 16 is the most buggiest update of all time with the most lackluster launch of iPhone 14 lineup ever in the history. Users are literally frustrated after spending more than $1000 and at the end what they got is only bugs. Update after update Apple is fixing the issues but the user experience isn't great with new iPhone 14 lineup. In iOS 16.0.3 Apple addresses the four major issues. First is within the incoming call and app notification may be delay or not deliver on iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. Look, Apple have issues with some basic feature although it's fixed but still you can imagine. Second is when you connect your new iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max with the Apple CarPlay and while communicating with someone on phone call the microphone volume was not adequate so that someone on another end can hear your voice clearly. So this thing has been resolved too in this update. Third is within the camera app of iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. App was taking more time than usual to open and switch between lenses like from ultra wide lens to primary lens and from primary primary lens to the macro lens was not smooth and sometimes it freezes in between so this issue is fixed now but the fading effect while focusing the object in telephoto lens is still an issue. Fourth is within the mail app and pretty much every iPhone user had this problem while receiving new emails and sometimes mail app was keep on crashing so this thing is resolved too in this update. For older iPhones there are plenty of bug in iOS 16.0.3 which is yet not addressed by Apple. I can share it one by one but this video will more likely a movie covering all the bugs in iOS 16. In short the user experience is totally worse in iOS 16. Not a single task is working perfectly fine so if you are currently on iOS 15.7 then it's well and good because battery life in iOS 16 is substandard ekdam gatiya. Literally you will doubt whether your iPhone comes with battery or not. On average I am getting 5 to 6 hours of the screen on time in normal tasks while surfing on web and while using several social media apps but getting just only 3 to 4 hours of the screen on time in a complete 0 to 100% charge while shooting 4k 60 fps videos playing fps games etc so in heavy task battery drain is way too much. Also here I am sharing the screenshot of battery analytics of iPhone 12 with average screen on time of 4 hour 30 minute in a normal uses. In iPhone 13 users are getting on average 8 hour of the screen on time while performing only basic tasks. Whereas in iPhone 13 Pro users are getting up to 11 to 12 hours of the screen on time but sometimes needs to plug twice or thrice a day. So again it's not a award winning and at this moment I don't have any battery related data for iPhone 14 lineup but if you do have any then make sure to share it in the comments down below. If I talk main about the benchmark score than in a single core it more likely same but in the multi core older iPhones are slowed down by the 100 points whereas in the compute score it's almost identical but the way Apple slow down the older devices can be filled while using the phone and especially while performing the heavy task. So that's pretty much it about the iOS 16.0.3 so now the question is should you update or not. If you are currently running on iOS 15.7 then still you should wait for a stable version of iOS 16 and if you are already running iOS 16 on any of your iPhone then you should definitely consider upgrading your iPhone to the latest iOS 16.0.3. If you want to know anything else then please leave it in the comment section and thank you for stopping by till the end and as always I will catch you in the next video.